This graph shows a physical quantity that varies with time. So a skydiver falls through the air vertically. So it goes like this and eventually it becomes zero. So because of this falling and then this eventually becomes zero, I have a hunch that this has to be the part where, where the skydiver is falling at uh, zero net force. That means the force of gravity balances out the force of the drag and it, the, the, the skydiver is actually falling at zero acceleration. So it, it's falling at uniform speed. Then when the skydiver opens up the parachute, then they'll experience an extremely large uh, deceleration and then eventually it tapers off and then he falls again. So this is probably acceleration. Now, how to use the simulation to verify this is you click on this link and then eventually be brought to the simulation. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set it to the correct scenario by selecting perhaps parachute jump, reaching terminal velocity. Then you can toggle the various uh, graphs to see how the different, the three graphs, because in physics is usually just the position, velocity and acceleration. So you can actually toggle between the various. So if you can see, I can toggle, then you can see that actually this is acceleration, this is speed, and this is uh, position. So to explain this, uh, when the deployment of the parachute occurs, you can see that the man actually falls uh, more slowly. So you can see that it's actually at first, uh, falling and then this becomes pretty uniform uh, with a constant gradient then after that it becomes another gradient which is gentler so you can ex you can associate this with the actual dots the motion dots of the falling parachutist now the more tricky one will be velocity so velocity looks like that so uh, if, if initially his velocity was zero then he falls and then because of the drag uh, it becomes uh, terminal velocity then when the parachute deploys very quickly, it experiences a very large uh, deceleration and then it becomes less fast, so it becomes tapered off. Then eventually when everything stabilizes and the, the forces of gravity and the forces of drag balances, then again the person continues at a, a, more, a less negative, I mean as in a magnitude wise, it's a less magnitude uh, velocity that is actually a, a smaller value in magnitude than this earlier one because he is falling very fast here but falling not so fast then finally acceleration you can see that uh, at first he falls at 9.81 then because of the drag it becomes lesser and lesser and then becomes eventually zero so this is the part where he falls at a constant rate of a zero acceleration then suddenly the deployment of the parachute then he experiences a very large acceleration uh, this way upwards because uh, we're taking up as positive so then after that uh, when the forces start to uh, counteract with each other interact with one another then the forces balances again because as the velocity decreases the drag becomes lesser then eventually it becomes falling at constant or, or should i say zero acceleration again so the answer for this case, obviously, if you look through the various option, uh, it should be acceleration because this is the reverse, the reflection about the time axis for this particular answer.